here we are with uh, Passover to Pentecost. Um, I'm really gripped uh, afresh of these days of the coming um, mighty baptism of the Holy Spirit that will witness to the blood of the Lamb that has been slain. These two things go together continuously in Scripture, and I'm, I, I, I don't fully have a revelation, but I'm crying out, God, unveil the Lamb of God and the, and the blood of the Lamb so that there could be an, a releasing of a mighty baptism of the Holy Spirit. We see once again in the Scriptures where John is baptizing. Now, uh, uh, he's baptizing uh, people, and Jesus comes into the picture, into the scene, and John looks at him and, and, and shows the crowd and says, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. We see that in John chapter 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look or behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Then it says this in 32, Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would have not known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with, a, with water told me, The man on whom, whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Here you see it. It's behold the Lamb of God and he shall baptize you. With the Holy Spirit. Again, it is the testimony of the Spirit witnessing to the Lamb of God. Over the last 20 years, our, our message of the call was, was, was basically, uh, you know, John, uh, Luke 1 17. Uh, God gave us in a dream uh, before the, the call in 2000, where 400,000 gathered together to, to fast and pray uh, uh, the first call DC. Uh, I had a dream in which I was overwhelmed with the impossibility of seeing America turn back to God. But in the dream, a scroll rolled down before me, and it was Luke 1, 17, speaking of John the Baptist. He shall go on before the Lord of the spirit and power of Elijah. He'll turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. And in the dream, it said, and the rebellious to the wisdom of the righteous. I woke up and I knew the Lord was saying to me that the scroll of the call, as weak as it was, was Luke 1, 17. It was a preparation of the way. And then some years ago, I was praying, Lord, has the call failed? And again, the Lord spoke to me. If it truly was a John the Baptist, Luke 1, 17 movement, then you can bet there's a Jesus movement coming and and the last words of John was not was not prepare the way of the Lord. It was behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world, and he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit in fire. From that day forward, I've been calling for prayer for two things. Pray for a mass beholding of the Lamb of God, and pray for a mass baptism of the Holy Spirit, global baptism of the Holy Spirit. Do you see it? First of all, it's the great communion blood revival. It's behold the Lamb of God. In the communion is the beholding of the Lamb of God. And then as we behold the Lamb of God, as God unveils the Lamb, he then prepares to send the mighty baptism. Would you join me in these days leading up to Pentecost? God, we pray there will be a mass beholding of the Lamb of God all over the world as men and women are taking communion. I just recently got a text from uh, from Rick Pino. You may have heard of him, Rick Pino, the great, uh, one of the great worship leaders, young men, Nazarites in our day. He says, we've been doing, we are calling 40 days of fasting, praying uh, for uh, uh, Pentecost, preceded by since uh, Passover, they've been doing communion every day. It seems like it's in the air. Some movement's taking place. So I want you to encourage you. Let's join in these days praying for the great communion blood revival, a mass beholding of the Lamb of God. And then, Lord, Pentecost into the new era. Lord, the new day, a mighty massive baptism of the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow, I'll be sharing with you concerning this very theme again 
In Revelation chapter 5, there is a lamb that's at the center of the throne. Bless you.